to set up the track fan or reactivate the commissioning mode, press and hold the minus and plus buttons simultaneously for about three seconds until the bathroom and kitchen lights flash. We are in the bathroom, so select the bathroom as the appropriate installation location whilst both room selection lights are flashing. The boost speed light should now start to flash. To adjust the airflow, press the minus and plus buttons to the required level. If you press on the plus button more, you get an increased boost speed and airflow performance, whilst the minus button decreases the boost speed. Suffice to say, pressing the plus button on the smart pad increases the boost speed with an increased audible sound and once we've confirmed the audible pitch and the boost speed we press on the boost button to confirm and the boost light should show as solid the trickle speed light should now start to flash adjust the airflow by pressing on the minus and plus buttons to the required level bespoke to your requirements do note that the trickle speed cannot be higher than the boost speed, so use a slightly lo lower setting. Once you've tailored the speed to your lifestyle, press the trickle button to confirm and the trickle light should show as solid. Do note that the boost button and the trickle button are solid green at this stage. The flickering or continuous flashing is due to a strobe effect, okay? They are definitely solid green, so please do ignore that, okay? To activate the Humidity Smart, press on the button. The light should come on to indicate that the function is active. And replicate the process for the Timer Smart. The light should come on as well to indicate that, you know, the function is, is active as well. Just tap them on if they aren't on already. The Humidity Smart differs from your traditional humidity sensing as it doesn't require an activation point to boost the fan, but rather it is quite sensitive to humidity and will react only when a man-made spike in humidity levels is created and as such ensures optimal ventilation in your home. It also uses the actual installed environment to boost ventilation in conjunction with humidity sensing. This type of humidity sensing distinguishes between ambient and man-made humidity and as such will not just activate for no reason, you know for example during a hot humid summer evening. Suffice to say it mitigates unnecessary nuisance running of the extractor fan. Whilst the timer smart, you know, provides a way of ensuring that ventilation is delivered effectively to your home. It utilizes the duration of occupancy, so for example in your bathroom, to determine the length of time the fan overruns in boost mode, as opposed to a preset generic time of say 15 to 20 minutes. So, if you spend 10 minutes in the bathroom, it will overrun on boost for another 10 minutes when using the timer smart. So, it basically helps to reduce nuisance noise and running or necessary heat loss. It keeps the energy performance as low as possible. Also note that to reset the unit to factory settings and to revert to both the room's selection lights at the start of the commissioning mode, you press the minus and plus buttons for about 10 seconds instead of 3 seconds as earlier highlighted. Pressing any of them buttons shows the current settings and you can see this, this is what we've programmed into the unit. And once done, place the cover back onto the unit and turn clockwise to secure the cover onto the extractor fan.